Hey everybody, all right, in this video, let's talk about the Toy Story parking lot, which has been a huge conversation piece amongst fans since that huge, massive, massive Disneyland Forward um, expansion announcement just a couple of days ago. There's been this ongoing narrative, and it's not just recently, but I've heard this narrative um, for years now. For, for years and years and years that the Toy Story parking lot is just not big enough. You just can't fit a, 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 a proper theme park on that space. It, it just can't be done. It's impossible, right? It's impossible. So I kind of want to go over with you the facts and, 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 and go over with you, you know, uh, whether or not this is actually the case or not. So I have a picture here, um, courtesy of my good friend Vash Sky, who's actually going to be on the channel tomorrow, Dre. Um, I love talking with him. He he's always super interesting, brings a lot of data, and I just love having um, you know these videos with Dre. But he's going to come on the show tomorrow. We're going to talk about this whole Disneyland Forward uh, announcement. But um, courtesy of him, he provided this image. This is the exact acreage of Disney California Adventure. Now, obviously we're not including the Grand Californian because that's not the theme park, right? Um, so this is this green area is the acreage for Disney California Adventure. And as you can see, it's 73.30 acres, okay? 73.30. So now how does the Toy Story parking lot compete with that? I mean, I've heard for years, the Toy Story lot is just way too small. So it's got to be way smaller than this. It's got to be like 40 acres or something, right? Or 50 acres. It can't be anywhere near what DCA is. So let's check it out. Let, let's see exactly the acreage for that Toy Story lot. All right. So wait, wait, this, this can't be right. This can't be right. It's actually one acre bigger than DCA. It's 74 acres. But wait a minute. I was told for years that there's no way that they can build a, 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 a theme park in this area. It's just too small. So <laughs> all joking aside, look, obviously it's comparable to DCA. It's actually an acre bigger than California Adventure. Okay, now another thing you know, narrative out there is like, well, you know, yeah, technically it's the same size acre wise, but they need to do backstage areas. So that's going to cut into the acres, hence making it too small. Well, look, we've seen already with Disneyland that, that Disney can kind of like, um, move their backstage areas off site. Okay. We did it with galaxy's edge, uh, they did it again with Runaway Railway. So obviously these backstage areas don't have to be like on the on the park property. They can be moved elsewhere and the park can still be a fully functional theme park, right? Again, like I said, we're seeing it in real time with Disneyland. They're doing it as we speak, okay? So look, this is just, I've seen this argument many, many years I mean, everyone, I see so many people discrediting the Toy Story lot saying it's just too small. And look, really, it's not. It's actually slightly bigger than DCA. So it's definitely big enough for a theme park. Now, does that mean they're going to build a theme park there? No, not necessarily. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's a big enough piece of property to house a theme park if they wanted to. Now, I do believe, though, and I mentioned this in my video yesterday, there's a huge financial incentive for Disney to build a third park, you know, instead of just expanding the current two parks. And my justification for that, my reasoning behind that, in case you missed my video yesterday, is that it's a psychological thing, right? So in the late 90s, when they were deciding on what to do with the parking lot, the original Disneyland parking lot, you know, they could have really opted just to expand Disneyland into that parking lot and just have one ginormous Disneyland, but they didn't. They decided to have a second gate. Why? Why would they opt for a second gate? Well, the reason being is because if you have two parks 
psychologically, people feel they can't do all of that in one day. So Disneyland can be a thousand acres, but it's still one park. So psychologically, people think like, oh, it's one park. I can do it in a day. Two parks, though, people have that mentality of like, oh, that's a little too much, though, in one day, right? Right? It's a little too much. Two parks in one day. Same idea here with the third park. You add a third park. Disneyland Resort can boast three resort uh, theme parks. That is a psychological thing for, for, for guests where they go, you know what? Three parks is a little overwhelming for me. I can't do that in one or two days. I got to get a hotel for a few days to see everything. It would boost the, uh, the hotel uh, occupancy, I think, by a huge number. Okay. It could probably even warrant adding another hotel, you know, to, to meet the demand. So a third park is definitely, um, in Disney's, uh, you know, best financial interest. Okay. That's why I'm still, look, I'm not saying for sure. I, I still feel this whole Disneyland forward news is really kind of a ruse. Like they're kind of just getting the zoning for what they want to do. But at the end of the day, it's probably going to be a third park. Again, that's my speculation. That's my opinion. I just feel something is kind of off here. So anyway, I just wanted to make a video real quick and kind of and kind of like go over with you the acreage and 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 the whole myth along the Toy Story parking lot because there's a narrative. There's been a narrative out there, an argument for years and years and years that this area, this Toy Story parking lot, is just not big enough you know, for, um, a theme park. And it's just not the case. It, it's actually one acre bigger than DCA. You can definitely build a theme park there. Now, will Disney do that? Like I said earlier, I have no idea. Maybe it'll become Disney Springs West. Like they, like they claim it's going to be maybe right. But we'll see. But I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on that? D did the numbers surprise you in regards to this acreage or not? Or do you, have you known all along that this area is big enough for a theme park what are your thoughts on it? I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And as always, have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow.